Hey everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutorial.com. Wanted to come in and do a video. We are doing an unboxing today. We're doing an upgrade and unboxing video to kind of give you a, just a heads up and update on what we're doing with our solar setup here um, on the homestead. So what we have now is uh, a solar setup that is powering our aquaponics greenhouse. And uh, it's configured in a 12 volt configuration. It's eight, six volt batteries and, and it's configured in a 12 volt system. And what we're going to do is upgrade that system to uh, a 24 volt system. We're going to basically reconfigure the six volt batteries to be 24 volt instead of 12 volt. And we have a multi-point uh, charge controller that uh, that's going to be able to change on a whim. It's, it's the kind of charge controller that you need to do that. Most charge controllers are either 12 volt, 24 volt, or whatever, or 48 volt. You have to buy the right charge controller for the type of voltage that you're going to be using for your system. Well, the, the MPPT charge controllers that, you, that are out there, we're using one from Midnight Solar. Uh, allows us to change or upgrade uh, whatever we want. So whatever the system will, will we have it configured as, it'll register it and, and work with it no problem. And so we decided to go ahead and go from 12 volt to 24 volt and our Midnight Solar Classic charge controller will handle that no problem. And so what we wanted to do, um, we have just a simple inverter that's used, being used for that system right now. It's just something, it's like a Schumacher one that we got from Walmart, like an $80 uh, inverter. And so we're going to upgrade to a Samlex uh, for that. It's going to be a 24 volt uh, inverter, 600 watts. We only need about, I mean, the system only draws about, goodness gracious, 240 watts, I think, you know, when it's fully running, and that maybe even be with a light going too. So it's not a whole lot uh, of power that's being drawn off it. So the 600 watt uh, um, Samlex will work, and this is a 24 volt. I don't know if you can see that right there. 20, whoop, whoop, 24 volt uh, 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 inverter, pure sine wave. And so we're going to upgrade to that. Uh, and get rid of the Schumacher or just put it in storage in, in case we need it again for some reason. And we also bought uh, a charge, a battery charger. And I'll get into that in a second. But we have a number of things here we're, we're going to get into and, and I'll show you. Uh, but the batteries, I'm getting ready to go out and rewire the batteries from a 12 volt configuration to a 24 volt configuration and then go ahead and go from there. Uh, the battery charger, uh, we, we, th we figured, because we're setting up an another solar system, so not only are we upgrading the current one for the aquaponics, we're actually building a new solar setup for um, the office that you saw in maybe one of the other videos. We converted a trailer into an office where we have our DSL line coming into. It's a phone line that we get our internet and then we have that going into a router where so we have a wireless uh, internet all over uh, the property uh, that people can use and um, and so uh, and then we have I mean, it's just basically where we where we use our laptops and things like that and and that's where I record some of my videos and that's where I work uh, you know just you know work to make a living and so we want to make a separate system just for that so we're not using energy from the aquaponics system and so the aquaponics can just have that total the system that we have for aquaponics is just totally dedicated to aquaponics and, uh, and, and that greenhouse. And then we'll have another system dedicated to the office. So that's what we're doing here. So we got two of these, two inverters, one for the old, one for the old system. We're going to upgrade that. And then one for the new one. And then a chart, a battery charger that we also got. And this is, this can be used. We actually got two of these and we're going to send one back. I think, I think we can use just one for both systems. And so what we'll do, we'll uh, use this uh, with a generator to charge the batteries now there's days where you don't get i mean there was days this winter we didn't get sun for like two weeks and we had to shut the system down and uh and so what we need to be able to do is when we don't get sun for a couple of days uh, and we're still using the aquaponics or we're using the office we need to be able to go and charge those batteries you don't want your batteries to just sit and not get charged uh, uh and so they should be charging uh topping off every day or at least every other day to make sure they stay in top working order. And so that's why we got this battery charger. We're going to take this battery charger and we're going to hook it up to a generator um, and be able to top off our batteries to make sure they stay in top working order. And so we have a 24 volt uh, system for that uh, battery charger. And this is also from Sam Lex. And so this is a pretty nice system. Um, it allows you to charge two banks at once. So you can have uh, two leads going out to two separate battery banks. And, and charge that. And it's even got a temperature uh, uh, 
a gauge in there too so you can check make sure the temperatures of the batteries and it's also a three stage a charger so it charges in three stages which is very very safe for your batteries uh, you want to make sure you charge your batteries in the three stages if you don't know anything about solar um, there are three stages you charge your battery bank in uh, that makes it very optimal for your system and so we made sure we got one of those that does that uh, and um, and some other things so what do we got we have this is going to be going to the new system for the office this is going to be going from uh uh, the batteries uh, to the, um, uh, I believe, um, oh, I don't know. I forgot what this is going to. This is going to go somewhere for the batteries. Um, I, have, I, have a, I have this all diagrammed out. So this is uh, going for just a little bit of extension to get from the solar panel. We've got a couple of these to go from the solar panels to the uh, combiner box. Um, we got a new charge controller from Midnight Solar. It's, the, um, it's called The Kid. And it's also an MPPT charge controller that'll work for a 24 volt or a 12 volt system, however you want to configure it. It's not here yet. It was a little bit delayed in getting here, so it'll be here soon. So if you look up the Midnight Solar, the kid, uh, it's a multi point power charge controller, MPPT charge controller. Uh, you can find that online. And so we got that coming, and then also a pre wired combiner box that is coming too with that. And so uh, that'll hook up the solar to the combiner box. We have another one of those. And then we also, let's see what we got in here. Let's see, this is, uh, this is going to be one of the um, uh, fuses that goes from, uh, I believe, um, uh, the, uh, the combiner to the combiner box. And then we have a bigger fuse that goes from your, that goes in between the batteries and the system. And so that's our 150 amp um, uh, fuse right there. I'll show you that. There's that right there, right there. And what I'll do is I'll point a, a link to the video, to a video below the description of this video where you can kind of see how I'm going to, it, it, it's another video that another guy did and he has it set up almost exactly the way we're gonna set ours up. And so, it, it, I mean, you, you'll see this fuse in that diagram that he has on that video. So it's a really good video. And, I, and uh, that's how we're gonna wire our system as well. So. Put that up there, that does that. and we got some battery cables to connect to the batteries. So, for the new batteries, uh, the batteries on the new system, the batteries on the old system, we're using six volt golf cart batteries, and they are flooded batteries. We have to top them off with um, uh, the uh, the water. I forgot what what's the water, the distilled water, and so. Um, but the new batteries we're getting for the new system are AGMs, um, and they are about twice to two and a half times more expensive in batteries. But the thing is about, about them is that they can take better temperature extremes and they're completely maintenance free. And so we like that option. Uh, I don't have to worry about you know dealing with temperature issues or equalization. I don't have to worry about any of that with, with the glass mat batteries, AGM batteries. And so we, we, we just figured we spend the extra money and uh, they're Rolls. It's a, it's a company called Rolls. Uh, they make batteries. I believe they're Canadian made. I'm not sure. Anyway, they, um, they'll be delivered here next week. And this is a sulfator. And so it's called the battery lifesaver. And what it does, it breaks down the sulfation uh, crystals that, that the battery um, creates inside the plates. The, ba the Rolls batteries that we ordered, they say have the largest plates of any battery in the industry. I don't know if that's true. That's what they claim. It's a pretty bold claim, I guess. If it wouldn't be true if they wouldn't, they wouldn't claim it if it wasn't true, right? Everything on the internet's, you know, the truth. So um, anyway, we got the sulfator to help with the battery life. It's called a battery uh, lifesaver, and uh, it basically uh, takes the crystals and puts them back into uh, lead um, and uh, extends the life of your battery. And so this had great reviews online. It's also in the video that you'll see in the description of this video. Check that video out. And I think it was well worth uh, the small investment to buy one of these. And so this is part of the upgrade. We bought one of these for the new system. And we bought one of these. There's another one right there for the old system. And so we thought this would be a great way to extend the life of the batteries and uh, just treat, give them a better overall treatment. And so we got one of those. And uh, that's it for that. And so this... 
This is the inverter we're going to be using on one of the, on the current system, and then we have an inverter for the new system. And so that's the battery, that's the solar unboxing that we did today. And uh, so we're excited about getting this new system up and running. We've got the, uh, the AGMs that'll be here next week. The solar panels, they went to go pick those up today. We got some new grape solar panels, the same panels we're using now. Uh, 250 watt, 24 volt uh, solar panels, uh, two of them for this new system. And I think that'll be good enough uh, to keep a power. We can always expand if we need more later. But I think this is, uh, if I've done the numbers right, and um, I think I did, we, we should be good to go. Because uh, we're not really drawing a lot of power out of that office. I mean, it takes zero watts almost to run uh, the phone. We have a cordless phone that, that's in there that we can use in the house. And we also have uh, uh, the modem for the DSL. And we also have... Um, uh, the, the router, the wireless router uh, that we run in there too. And it, it I mean, when you, when you look on the wattage that it uses on the inverter, it registers as like zero. So it takes very little uh, wattage to run most electronics. And so we're, um, it doesn't really take a lot. And then the only time really we draw a lot of power out of that or any power is when we hook up our, our laptops to charge our laptops or to charge our cell phones. And so uh, that's when it takes... Uh, uh, some power and so the little amount of power we're, we're using i don't think we're going to need more than what we've got now on this uh, we are planning on extending maybe our solar setup maybe one more time to allow use for a deep freeze in one of the houses maybe but that's down the road so we'll, we'll do that eventually but right now uh, we want to dedicate all of the power for the for the aquaponics and the greenhouse to make sure that's just not interrupted. We're not we're not trying to use that for our laptops or anything like that to make sure it has enough energy, and then uh, use uh, a separate uh, solar and battery bank for the office. And so that's what we're doing. We're doing an upgrade uh, on the current system and setting up a new one. So anyway, hope you found that interesting. I'll give you a better spec on how this is all working when it's all set up. Right now, I have to go back out and rewire some batteries for 20 volt, 24 volt configuration. And check out the video down below. It, it's almost exactly how our system is going to be set up, and although it doesn't have as many batteries. Uh, uh, we don't have as many batteries as that system has, but the setup is almost exactly the same. So check that out. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.